Great. Hey, Carl. What, what's been happening here, my friend? Yeah, Carl has been doing his magic again, guys. This guy is a genius. The only true genius I've met here in uh, Mindanao, if not all of the Philippines. Carl, how the hell do you, uh, do you know how to fix motorbikes? I mean, this thing was dead as a doornail, the starter. And now, lo and behold, guys, lo and behold, let's see. There's, there's the proof of the pudding. Proof of the pudding. Works. Unbelievable, guys. The starter is working. Carl went in here. I, w I didn't want to film the whole process because it was kind of tedious. Uh, hun hundreds of wires and a crow nest of wires here, but he's, he, went, he traced them all around from the handle to the battery to the to the what? <laughs> to the, well, the starter. He chased the, 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 the wires all around, right? And uh, okay. then you found the the. It took a while. It took about an I would say an hour at least to. Carl, you know, this was a really a wild goose chase here because actually somebody else, uh, the young uh, boy, remember, the, uh, uh, Jeffrey, he, he, he put in a new switch there because that switch here was broken. So he put a new switch, but he, 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 he cut a wire and then uh, it took us quite a while to trace which wire he cut off and then da da da, and then he fixed it, Carl here. And then we went to the, the, the old battery we had in there was dead, it was very weak, very weak. It's probably been in there for years. So we went to, just came back from the shop, bought a brand new battery for 1,400 pesos, which is uh, less than 300 US, right? 30, 30 oh no, 30, sorry. 30 dollars US. 30 dollars US, basically, slightly less. And now I got a brand new battery, it's, the starter is working. And you know what is very exciting, I, because I was, I've been kicking this bike, you know, I mean the starter, not the bike itself, but uh, not much fun kicking a bike in the morning, it doesn't want to start, it's cold. Um, you need a rubber. A rubber? piece of rubber here. Oh, oh. I know what you can do. Oh, yeah? Wait. Use a tape for... Yeah, yeah, just a piece of gum. So, Carl, you said you can even fix the... Carl here tells me you can fix almost anything. <laughs> He, he fixed uh, cars, motorbikes it seems, uh, no problem. And then uh, a bo he, he can build boats. You said you can even do planes, Carl. Uh -oh. Yep. How about trains? Trains and planes? Never, never, never done a train. <laughs> okay. I have to test your knowledge there. <laughs> See if there's any limit to your genius. Um, no, but I have a friend back home, he does trains. Ah, okay, good. Uh, I just do training. <laughs> I don't do trains. Okay. <laughs> So Carl can even, uh, you said you had a microplane. Yes. Okay. And that is that similar to, let's say, a lawnmower or, <laughs> or whatever, you know? It's just a very light airplane with a small motor on it. So yeah. For one person. Yeah. And then mo well, the motor itself, what do you make of it? I mean, is it similar to a it's, motorcycle engine or? Yeah, it's a 100cc. Oh. The one I have. Oh. 100cc? Yeah. That can take, that can get it's, you off the ground. It's two cycle, so your power is more. It's, oh. It's about a. Uh, two stroke. Yeah, it's two stroke. It's about uh, 15 horsepower or something. Oh, is that really enough to get you off the ground? With a very light airplane, yes. Uh, yeah. It seems a bit dubious though. That's for one person, yeah. Yes, only for one. Only good for one. Wow, 100 cc guys. Did you hear that? 100 cc engine is enough to get you in the air. That's amazing. If you have the right airplane. You have to, yeah. Is it the big wings or? Yes, it's a biplane. Biplane, yeah. So basically, it's 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 the wings will will be the most important to pick you up, pick you up uh -oh. off the ground. To 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 build a plane like that, do you think it's a is it possible? Yeah. To build it to we make can, it do. We can build one here. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't sound that terribly expensive. Except for the wings, maybe. The problem is finding the materials here. The wings, you mean, or? It uses aluminum tubing, which is... Yeah. I don't, I don't know where to find here. Alu aluminum. Hmm. But anyway, it's a project for the future. Project for the future. We have one screw somewhere. Yeah. Oops. Or no. was it on the ground? It was... Uh, Over there. Or here. Oh yeah, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Little lost. A little lost nut. Oh, that was really good. I I thought we we're not really gonna fix this, but uh, a really good job. 
Really amazing job. Um, you know, I'm, a, I'm a believer. <laughs> I'm a believer in miracles. Because it's, it seems like a miracle when we started off with this thing. It didn't seem very possible to... Let me turn it off for the moment. Oh, very nice. Where's the seat? Let's put this on. I like the seat though. It's um, it's very. Make sure. I had another one near the wrench. Go ahead. Oh, you don't want to be. Oh yeah, and you don't this, be missing your wrench. this is yours, is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I want to keep my little uh, what do you call it? Box of box of tricks under the seat. So there she is, man. She's beautiful. She's ready to rock and roll. Yep. Ready to go. There's your, hey, there's your puppy. Is that the puppy? Yes. That's What's the, the name puppy. of it? That's Oso, which means bear. Poso. Oso. Oso. Oh. Which means bear. She's gorgeous. Huh? In Basaya. She's um. What what is the species again? The Belgian Melanois. Oh yeah, Belgian Melo. Melanois. Melanois. How do you spell it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> M e l a. No. I don't know. It's Noir, N o i. Are. It's Belgian, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> they're really actually amazing dogs. Yeah, they're very very aggressive. Very aggressive, but very intelligent, isn't very, it? Very intelligent. Oh yeah, the Melanois, M-A-L-A-N-O-I-S. Melanois. Yeah, Melanois. Yeah. Yeah, Melanois. Like okay. Let me try it. See. Yep. See you want to take it for a spin? Yeah. Take see. it for a ride, man. Carl's on his, his mighty beast, guys. Mighty uh, Chinese, this is a Chinese motor, like Sinsky. Sinsky Motors. I think this is the only copy in Mindanao. <laughs> the lights are on. Hey, why is the lights on now? Oh. Huh, you can't switch it off now. Uh, will not go off? I don't know, let's see. Maybe. Off the oh, there's off, yeah. Now it's yeah. off. Oh, so that's back to the switch. This doesn't work anymore, I think. Oh no, this is uh, high and low. High oh, and low. Okay. Yeah. Look, look, look a lot brighter. No, no, I think it will flat if you open it too much. Uh, or a little bit. Oh, sorry. Oh no, that's, that's this right. side. This side. Yeah, yeah. I told you it's vice versa. So, this thing is pre it's pretty bloody heavy. Let me, let me help you pull it out. I'm gonna pull it back here. It's a heavy old machine. Okay. Take it for a ride, baby. It's uh, all down. Down, down, down. And if you, if you, if you want to uh, gear down, step. Uh, don't try to use your toe. Use your, use your heel. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Same as mine. Yeah. There she goes, man. It's working. Man, guys, that's really good uh, job. Well done. I, I brought Carl and his, and his wife Rose um, some burgers uh, from Safari, of course, and I'm gonna gonna invite him over to, for this evening for another round of snacks. Uh, very cool guy and very handy, extremely handy. This guy is a, a genius when it comes to um, equipment, guys. Uh, I mean, he. He built a boat, he can build a plane, he says. Can you imagine that stuff? That's, that's amazing. So my eyes uh, is clearing up, guys. It's still a little bit red, just right around the... right around the iris, but um, clearing up. So the good news is I got my shots yesterday. You guys know about it. And uh, got the motorbike fixed now. By the way, Carl is going to be on his way to the U.S. very soon with his wife, Rose, and he's going to visit his daughter on the west coast of the U.S., near, I think it's Seattle, maybe. And I know one of our subscribers there, Matteo, he wants to go and hook up with Carl. Um, I'm going to send you his uh, email address very today, I hope, uh, Matteo, and then uh, you guys can hook up and chat as much as you want. I'll, I told Carl already. So yeah, this is the area here. Today is kind of quiet. This is the area around the children's home here, basically. So they'll be going back to the States for a long holiday or more like a working holiday. I think they're gonna be touring the country uh, with the different churches or something. I'm not 100% sure. 
But yeah, here we are. I'm gonna miss them. Hopefully, it won't take you know so long to return here. This is the old beast of a van they're using. This thing is really old. Really old. Um, yeah, very cool. Very cool. I'm glad it's working. So things are happening. Uh, there's another foreign guy coming over to Safari today. For, he's on the way, I think, right now from Davao. He wants to rent a motorbike and, in, uh, and go around the area here. So we will do that for him. And I think he's from Spain. He could be Spanish. Not 100% sure. We will figure it out later. I'm, uh, I'm still fasting. Uh, one meal a day. I had my meal already earlier. Brunch. Breakfast, lunch, obviously, and uh, begin to feel not bad, guys. I've lost a few kilos, mind you. I was not overweight. I'm not overweight. I mean, I'm not heavy overweight. I'm just there's a bit of flab, definitely a bit of flab around the middle, but nothing grotesque. But I I don't mind getting you know lean and mean. I need to start training a little bit, physical training, and uh, just just you know some normal push-ups, sit-ups. Yeah, um, I'm going to talk about the fasting stuff more uh, in, d in detail later. I'm just mentioning it here in passing while I'm waiting for Carl to come back in. He went for a little drive. Um, so I'm very happy about the motorbike. Um, on Friday, today is Wednesday, on Friday I need to go back to San Francisco. Not in the US by the way guys, Top, uh, the one here in Philippines. I'll go to El Sur province and get another couple of rabies shots and then I'm looking at next week to, or after that anyway, to go to Butuan again. See my friend Coleman there and do a bit of shopping. So I'll be doing a few more trips on my motorbike and I have to go down to the Vau and then at the end of the month it's going to get quite busy with some friends rolling in from Bristol in the UK. Uh, Daniel is bringing his mom and dad over. Uh, and then he himself will be here by, by the end of the month. There's a bunch of big, big group of Chinese rolling in. We gotta somehow uh, entertain them. So a lot of exciting things are gonna happen this year. And uh, I'm looking at about three or four new pos possibilities to do business. All of them are really viable. It just depends on my cash flow. Uh, which, as you guys know by now, it's always not enough. But um, but our situation is slowly, slowly improving. Hopefully this year we're going to be able to add a big room, like a big dorm, dormitory room, and then two smaller rooms. And the third floor, uh, that will be on the second floor, and then we will open a third floor. We'll basically just a deck for hanging out, and maybe on the one side have massage, beauty treatment, you know, and massage. And hopefully, I really, really want to have a sauna, a herbal sauna. On, a, on somewhere in there and then uh, further down the road probably not maybe if I if I get really lucky with money this year I can have a gym a fight club for t training the young people here to maybe partake in MMA or boxing or stuff like that I would love to give something back to the young people here train a few champions guys we need a new money Pacquiao he's already 40 years old right so we need a new money Pacquiao here and uh, the ladies here very pretty but some of them are very tough I think they will be able to beat up quite a few of the other ladies around the world so yeah hopefully we'll get money together for all of that stuff you know further down the line and yeah step by step we're just trying to one of the reasons we're trying to do business is so we can make enough money so we can help other people I know it sounds crazy but <laughs> that is actually a good way to look at life you know so it's not only for yourself once you have enough you should try to help those that you know can't help themselves as, as much. Okay, guys, here comes Carl. Let me show you. There he goes. Great sight. Great sight for sore eyes like mine. It goes really well on the highway. Did you did you try it on the highway? Yeah, I got it on the highway, man. But it goes well. I think you're almost out of gas. Oh, really? It's, it's but, oh, it's time to miss. But you can put it on uh, reserve. Put it on reserve. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Start Stupid. It up. I, I went a long way yesterday. It was stopping, so... Yeah, oh yeah, it's probably running out. I can hear it. But uh, it, 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 it pulls really well. It pulls, yeah, it, it seems pulls okay. Well. It's, you're, you're a little bit out of alignment. But oh yeah? Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, it pulls well. 
you need to watch it when it's muddy. Pulls well enough. It, 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 it pulls strongly in all, uh, even in the fourth gear. It goes really it well. Feels like it'd be really comfortable for a long. Distance. Yeah, it's really comfortable. This big seat, this big old seat here. Yeah. And Leo really, really likes this seat with a little yeah. back backstop, you know, and uh, and then you can put some stuff in the boxes as well. This thing cost me 16k peso. Yeah. 16, yeah. But of course, you know, to fix it up, I probably spent another four or five maybe. So 20. What was wrong with it when you got it? It just wouldn't go because it, it's, it was standing for two years. Ah, it so you need to clean the carburetor. Yeah, clean the carburetor. The tank inside was very rusty. Oh, yeah. We had to wash that several times. Yeah, and that, no, you put this. I, I told you to put one in there. You did. I did, yeah. That's 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 gonna help. That keep that it in won't there be the, the thing, and you'll be able to see when it gets. Yeah. If it gets dirty. rusty again in there, or yeah, dirty, yeah, yeah. You, you'll see it there. And so. you just clean it, clean it just out. Throw it away. Put a new one or, in there. Or, They're very or, cheap. Very cheap, yeah. Um, the only thing now, the backlight. I think I'm not sure if it's the globe or the fitting. It's not working. Rusting. Could be that the fitting is. Uh, not, it's not uh, yeah, well, whatever. It sits a lot lower and very comfortable. Seems very like it com be comfortable and long yeah. distance. I love this bike. On a, on an open road, it goes beautiful. Yeah. I don't feel any, you know, uh, what do you call it, seat burn or, or bum burn or yeah. bum num bum num bum <laughs> num bum uh, syndrome. Like my other bike gives me the num bum syndrome within an hour, you know, because it's very narrow seat. Yeah. The seat is even more narrow than this. Look how wide is that front part there. It's so nice. It's like heavenly, you know. I want to take this to Davao uh, next week or so. Yeah. Or good, yeah, good maybe first put one and then Davao. Make a trip to try it. Yeah. It long exactly. Yeah. It's, I took the other bike down to Davao. Coming back, I sat for eight hours almost straight. When I got off that thing, it was it was agony. The other one's uh, Hauji or something like that. Uh, no, it's a Lonsin. Lonsin. It's a really good bike. I mean, it's like a tank with just that seat. I'm looking for another seat. I saw in Davao they they're selling the Royal Enfield. They got a similar seat to this, but you got to import the seat from India, and then it's gonna cost be quite pricey. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, if I have the money someday, I'm gonna probably try and get a seat from India or whatever. You can get them made custom made around here. Yeah, that's, that is what I was thinking. You think you can have this seat made, the front part? Yeah, probably. You just go to. Like one of the shops in Barobo or in San Francisco. Yeah, they, ask him to copy it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they 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 make seats for any yeah, yeah. bikes, but they yeah they have the machines there. They can. Uh, the, uh, yeah, but you're gonna need to because uh, the co the seat combo combination is slightly different from this. Right. This is built for this, but I think the other one is you're gonna need to adapt it. But yeah, that's not a bad well, idea. I mean, you could you could even add padding to this or you know whatever you want to do. Yeah. That's not a bad seat there. No, that's, that's a really good seat. I love this seat. That's a good setup. That's similar to on my Shadow. Shadow, yeah. Similar to that. Yeah, this um, is. A mine has a little higher back on the front. Yeah. And it, it, it really helps support your back. Oh yeah. Um, but that's that's, that's fine. That's not bad. Because you know, Philippines is not that big. You know, you, if you go to Davao, five hours, that should be. It's not too strenuous. Not too terribly strenuous. So. It's amazing what they can do with 150. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable, huh? And it, it's it's well made. It's a really well made motorbike. It's, it's definitely heavier than my bike. It is, yeah. <laughs> and it's got some power in it. It's not, yeah. It doesn't feel like it's totally. I, I wouldn't take this bike where I've taken that one though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've taken that one out. out oh yeah. In the, out in the mountains. And oh okay. It, yeah. I will get. Oh no, no, no. This has got no off road. Yeah. Capability. No off road at all. Even even. Yeah. Here even here, if it's more than two inches, you it, you you have to go down to first gear again. <laughs> And, and crawl up to the yeah. hole or whatever. But on the open highway, I tell you what, this thing's solid. Yeah. It's a rock, rock solid. It doesn't, doesn't, uh, you know, it doesn't move. It just feels like you're gliding. Well, it's the really same good. thing even with a like a Harley. It's beautiful on the highway. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. You yeah, go yeah. down a dirt road and yeah. it's just like torture. oh yeah, torture. It's terrible. Well, the other one though is a beast. I can take it almost anywhere. That yeah. that thing yeah, is it's amazing. Yeah, it's built a little differently than the this. The Lonsin. That thing is a real beast. I, it, it even goes on the, on the, on these roads, on these bloody dirt roads, as you guys can see, more like paths disappearing. So yeah, hey, how about tonight? Are you gonna coming over? Are you gonna come over for another snack? Um, I, maybe I'm not sure what we're doing tonight. 
So. Well, if not, if you don't have time tonight, then any time, let, let me know. Okay. Well, we, we invite you. You're invited. Okay. And uh, for all your hard work, so I gotta okay. reward you uh, for all the effort here, guys. This is an amazing effort to get this thing. So I tell you what, I was. I don't think there's anybody else in the Philippines that could have done this, Carl. Can I give uh, you that compliment? There's, there's guys that can do it. They could do it, but they, could do it. But they, they wouldn't have the patience and endurance and, and uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so that was really, really cool. I'm just glad it works. It was really cool, yeah. Very nice, very well done. I wonder what time is it now? Uh, mm -hmm. Cell phones inside. Oh, uh, what time? Two, f almost three. Wow. Almost three. So I'll slowly head back and then uh, you guys gonna swing by later possibly or yeah, whatever. We'll probably swing, swing by sometime. Just give us a little heads up if you want, otherwise just drop in. And I think they're gonna be a Spanish guy. You speak Spanish? No, oh. not at all. Rose? Very little bit. Very little bit, okay. I think it's a Spanish dude rolling in possibly. He said he's on the way from the wall. He wants to rent a motorbike. And uh, let's go around here. But I'm not sure if he's gonna show up. Let's see, wait and see. So I'll go back now. Okay, Carl, I want to thank you again. Thanks, Easy. brother. That was really, uh, I really appreciate that. Okay, so I'll see you guys later there, huh? Okay, shop. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, guys, I'm on my way now. I've invited Carl over and I'll see him later. I'm going to go back and see if the Spanish guy is there. Beautiful scene here, and I'm going to sign off from uh, the countryside here in Surigao del Sur, just right around Club Safari. Beautiful area. As you guys can see, lovely, green, clean and serene. Guys, don't go to Mindanao, don't go to Angeles City, guys. Avoid that, those fucking places. They, oh! Yeah, yeah, let me grab this spare. Oh, it's working, Rose! Good. Carl uh, surprised me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I honestly didn't think it's going to be that, that possible to do it. <laughs> I honestly thought it was going to be uh, a very, very tough job, and he did it. It's really yeah. cool. Okay, so I'm going to see you guys later, huh? Yes. Okay, come over, huh? Yeah. Come over, come over. Well, come, come with earlier, then you can enjoy the coffee, the African coffee. Or what, what time do you usually drink your last cup? Um, afternoon sometimes. Oh, noon, yeah. It's not good in the evenings either. No. Uh, no. <laughs> it's good in the mornings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good in the mornings. Yeah. I've, I've been doing my fasting uh, once, one meal a day now for quite a few days. I've lost a couple of kilos already, but I, it's not about the weight. I'm not really overweight, yeah. but I, it's just byproduct, you know. Yeah. So I'm planning to go a few more, probably another two weeks or so. Mm -hmm. But it's, I, I'm feeling a bit better, yeah, more energetic. Yeah. Because you know, I, I could feel my diabetes was kicking in again. But hopefully, I'm gonna get rid of all of that stuff now. I'm gonna switch to only pure water from, let's say, maybe Saturday. Friday I go for another couple of shots and I, I want to just make sure I have something in my stomach. Oh, yeah. Stop you know, being bit by dogs. Don't get bit, bitten by dogs. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> don't get bitten by any more dogs or cats. Yes. Well, there were a bunch of people there, I can tell you that. They were all... Uh, I thought it was going to take... Like, I thought they're going gonna, to gonna run out of uh, vaccine again, you know. I was like getting nervous, you know, because... <laughs> They, they were calling out name after name after name after name after, and I was just like, hey, wh why am I r right at the back of the line here, you know, and yeah. I, I walked in there and I said, and I, I pretended to be like totally ignorant, I'm like, oh, you have vaccine here? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Oh, okay, uh, how much is your vaccine? Oh, it's free, sir. Oh, okay, uh, well, when, uh, when, when are you going to call my name? Oh, soon, sir. Oh, okay, okay, good news, good news, okay, just, just uh, don't forget I'm here. No, sir. And then I just walked out and then they called my name. You know the Filipinos, it's so funny. You just walk out the door. Oh, Mr. Williams. Oh, okay. Here comes. <laughs> I think they were looking at this other. Hey, we better call this guy now. <laughs> he's, he's kicking at the bit a bit. <laughs> I wanted to make sure that because I went to Bislik and they, uh, they had no vaccine. Right. And I had to go and buy this stuff. It's expensive, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I was, uh, I'm glad I got it. But hopefully on Friday they still have some more yeah. left over. Hope so. Knock on wood! Yeah, okay. Okay, see you guys later, huh? Bye-bye. So here we go. I'm going back to the bike. I got my spare old battery here. And I'm going, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna get this bike started now. It's beautiful. It's a real pleasure to, to just use the, sta uh, the starter there, guys. I promise you. 
really great because like sometimes I had to kick this for 20 times just to get the bloody thing going. Very tiring and tiresome. Would you describe it as tiresome or tiring? Tell me, okay? Okay guys, I'm out of here. I'll let you know later if the Spanish guy is there and we talk later. Huh? Cheers.